James Leonard, Center Nightmare Masters .com. And today we're going to look at the 14th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2. This is from the Blue Book app, a harder set of reading and writing questions. And number 14 reads, which choice most logically completes the text? And we read the passage, birds of many species ingest foods containing carotenoids, pigmented molecules that are converted into feather coloration. Coloration tends to be especially saturated in male bird feathers because carotenoids also confer health benefits. Deeply saturated colors generally serve to communicate what is known as an honest signal of the bird's overall fitness to potential mates. However, so it would be like <clears throat> the human equivalent would be a male who is physically fit. Maybe he's got a flat belly and he's got some muscles. However, ornithologist Allison J. Schultz and others have found that males in several species of the Tanager genus from Bacillus use microstructures in their feathers to manipulate light, creating the appearance of deeper saturation without the birds necessarily having to maintain a carotenoid rich diet. What would be the equivalent of that? That would be someone who sits on the couch and eats potato chips. But then, <clears throat> maybe they suck it in all night, suck in their belly, and they put on some wolf muscles under their shirt. So the girls think that they are physically fit. These findings suggest that what? So, which was, um, which choice most logically fits the text? Notice it says here, these findings. Whenever it says this or that or these or those, you gotta pay attention to what comes just before it. The findings are about the microstructures and it creates the appearance of saturation, of deeper saturation. And the birds don't have to maintain that thin diet. So they still look healthy. Here's choice A. Individual male tanagers can engage in honest signaling without relying on carotenoid consumption. So you can look at exactly what the passage is saying honest signaling is. And what the passage is saying is that honest signaling is when they truly do have health benefits. Um, when they truly are eating a carotenoid rich diet, um, right here, honest signal of the bird's overall fitness. Potential mates, what is that? That's when they're eating the carotenoids and when they're getting the health benefits. So, no carotenoid consumption is not an honest signal. Mr. B, feather microstructures can be less effective than deeply saturated feathers for signaling overall fitness. Now, answer is B, it could be true, but it's just wrong because the passage doesn't say that. Um, maybe after, like if this passage continues, maybe after it does say something like that. But <clears throat> as far as we know at this point, um, the feather microstructures are just as effective as deeply saturated feathers for signaling overall fitness, even though they're not as overall fit. Here's to see, scientists have yet to determine why tanager have preference for mates with colorful appearances. Maybe that's true also. But literally, the passage is not saying it. When it says at the end, these findings right over here, it's got to be the findings that are mentioned just before it, which is microstructures creating the appearance of deeper saturated uh, birds maintaining a carotenoid rich diet. So in other words, they look healthy when they're not. If you take it into context, a larger passage. Interesting, a male tanager's appearance may function as a dishonest signal of the individual's overall fitness. That's your best answer. The honest signal is when they have a good diet and they are healthier. So <clears throat> the appearance could be a dishonest signal of the overall fitness because they're using these microstructures is your best answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like and share it with someone who has difficulty with these reading comprehension questions, what most logically changes the text. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT test in your ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on it.